All right, I'm jumping right into the recipe on how I make my ginger brew. And the first thing I'm getting started here with is a ginger bug. And these are super easy to make. I am getting started with some grated ginger. If you don't have a grater, you can chop your ginger. And it's about a quarter cup of ginger. And I'm using turmeric in this recipe. This is some fresh turmeric. I picked it up from Whole Foods. Turmeric is so medicinal, so I felt it would be really beneficial in this recipe so into two jars and it's best to use a large jar but I don't have any large glass jars or any sort of large non-reactant containers and so I basically two tablespoons of ginger in each and two tablespoons of turmeric in each and a total of two cups of water each as well as a quarter cup of sugar. Make sure you check the description box for the def for the exact recipe amounts. They will be linked in the description box below. And so I just cover these. These are going to sit in a dry, cool, or dry, warm room temperature place. And that's where I store them. And so this is day two. And so what I'm doing is basically growing my gingerbread, growing my probiotic ginger bug and you don't want to um, peel the ginger you want the ginger to you can rinse it off but uh, the bacteria on the outside of the ginger on the skin will create the probiotics you want that live active culture you can see here the bubbles on the top here as well as little pieces floating upwards and downwards so you know that this is living, it's alive, and it's active. And I'm not ready to use it yet, I just wanna give it another day, excuse me, I wanna give it another day to feed, and so I just feed it with, so I just feed the ginger bug with some more sugar and water. Now you're not supposed to use metal in this, they say, but I did on mistake and it still came out well. So for the ginger brew itself, I have here one cup of grated ginger, a bit of vanilla extract, lemon juice, some molasses, some sugar, um, a strainer, a measuring cup, and some filtered water a jug here, and two little jars because I want to make a fizzy version of this ginger brew. And yeah, we get started here with the ginger and the sugar. Now this was, and there's the, um, the lemon, the lemon juice, as well as the molasses and the vanilla extract. So I'm making a, baby, a, a flavored syrup right here. And so this originally started off as a ginger ale and it didn't taste like a ginger ale, so I figured I'd call it a ginger brew, <laughs> okay? And here we go, this is our, this is the fourth day. And as you can see, it's alive, it's living. You see the particles floating up and down, moving around, and there's bubbles forming at the top. So what I'm gonna do here is basically just strain off some of my bug. And this is going right into my ginger brew. And so after you make your, your syrup, your flavoring syrup, which would be the ginger, the lemon, everything we used in the pot, you wanna make sure that gets cool to room temperature because you don't wanna kill your ginger bug. And so to the bugs, I just continue feeding it with sugar and water and continue growing it as I need it. And so these are going right back into that cool place. And if you don't need your ginger bug, immediately or anytime soon go ahead and pop them in the refrigerator and when you're ready to make some more then you pull them out let them sit for another sit for a day and then you continue feeding them and reactivate those that culture and so as you can see i've mixed the bug the syrup as well as the the water and this is it um, if you are doing this in a glass container you want to make sure you open the container, what they call burping. You have to burp the container if it's glass. If it's plastic, you can get away with not opening the container. But you want to burp the container every eight hours to prevent the, con the, the lid from locking because that active culture continues to feed on that sugar and gives off gases. 
and if you let it sit too long you can have an issue with it not opening at all or even in some just terrible cases where the jar explodes so if you have a glass jar just burp the container every eight hours and if you have a plastic jar don't worry about burping it just make sure that the lid is on tightly and when you're ready to drink it usually about a day and a half later it's ready to go before you leave make sure you go over and check out my instagram account and go ahead and follow me on instagram i would love to see your food pictures so make sure you tag me in any of your vegan food pictures and check out some of my other videos. I have a couple linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it. And I will see you next time.